it's time for the next video in the FAQ series and this FAQ series is basically all about annoying questions I get asked over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again um, you know and I get really tired of answering in the comments so the idea should be that once this playlist is finished there will be lots of frequently asked questions so if you ask an uh, FAQ question I'll just direct you to this and if you um, are actually you know paying more attention you can see it in the description what I'll do eventually is have it in the description of every new video and then it will be you know if you have a FAQ about one of my gas masks click the FAQ so this one is about why don't I show all my masks in one video uh, I get asked this probably several times a week and it should be obvious to anybody who really thinks about it too hard it's because I have so many masks I physically can't show them in all in one video or if I did, the video would be several hours long um, and I'd have to span it out across several rooms because I wouldn't be able to show them all in one room. You know, and it would just be a real pain in the ass to do with, you know, moving all these masks out of somewhere and moving them back and everything like that. So, I had a look and I have over 70 individual masks in my collection. Um, if you count duplicates and like half face respirators and things like that, I then have 80 odd masks in my collection. So how am I meant to show all of those in one video? It would basically be physically impossible. So that's why I haven't done it, because obviously if I was to lay all these masks out next to each other, if you imagine 80 odd masks, that's just an insane amount of space that's going to take up. Especially if I have the carriers with them, the satchels, the accessories for the ones that I have of the accessories and all that that is going to be loads and loads and loads of space taken up the amount of time and effort it would take to lay them all out also bear in mind this camcorder, um, although I did buy a new one, it's only suitable for certain things unlike this one which is my all round better camcorder being a Sony this camcorder, even though I've got spare batteries for it, the batteries last maybe if I'm lucky 40 minutes when recording at 1080 on this so if I was to show my mask in one video I'd probably run it through several batteries so, the impracticalities of it are just insane. So, because I wouldn't be able to do much detail in a video like that, if I even did a video like that, which I won't do, um, you know, it would be very brief for every mask. So what I do instead is, you'll have noticed if you pay attention, I do like national gas mask collection videos. So, what that is, I'll say do all my Polish masks in one video, and I'm going to update the Polish one, because I think I've had at least three more Polish masks since I did the original video. So I'll do an update one on that. But I generally do it in national ones, like British, Polish, German, you know, things like that. That way I can talk a bit more about how a country changed their development of respirators over time, you know, changes in design, continuations in design, all that sort of stuff. Uh, for some nations I obviously can't do that because I only have one or two masks from that nation, but then just watch my video on the individual masks. When I get a mask I always do a video on it, so if you're interested in a particular mask, type in the name of the mask or just look through my videos anyway and you'll be able to find videos on those masks. And as I said, if I have enough masks from a certain nation or sort of alliance group, whatever, I do videos on those masks so you can see all of the collection in that sense. But it would just be totally impractical and stupid to try and put 80 odd masks down in one video and actually be able to talk about them for a decent length of time. Ages ago I did like a rushed collection video because people kept asking for it when I had far fewer masks, probably about 40 at that period or something like that. And that was where I just, you know, panned the camera overload the satchel saying that's what's in that uh, satchel, that one, that one, that one. Um, so, as you can probably understand, if you think about it, it is not practical to show my entire collection just simply because of the space and storage. This is another thing I don't think people really think about and I've spoken about my storage arrangements before but once you get a big collection of pretty much anything that's bigger than stamps or something like that they start to take up a lot of room. Most people in their houses don't have lots and lots of spare room so the masks have to be stored here, there and everywhere where they hopefully won't get damaged but you know where they can actually be stored. That's the reason I've said lots of times I'm not going to get a World War One mask or a very rare and valuable mask simply because I can't store them properly and, you know, maintain them and keep them in a good condition, so I'd rather not buy one and ruin a historical artifact. So, to open up all those areas, like cupboards and wardrobes and, you know, where I've sometimes got masks stacked on top of each other in their carry bags in some wardrobes, to lay all those out, then put them back would just be a nightmare. It would probably take me three or four hours to actually film the video and, you know, do all the stuff surrounding the video. 
and that's regardless of the amount of time to edit and then render the video and then upload it to YouTube only for it probably to be demonetized. so no. That is why I would not do my entire masks in one video because of just the sheer amount of effort it would take for something lots of people probably wouldn't watch. Anyway, so there you go, if you're interested in my masks in a wider collection, watch the National Collection videos, otherwise watch the videos on the individual masks you're interested in. Hopefully this video makes sense and you know, you can understand my reasons why, but it's just a practicality and sensibility thing. It's just stupid, especially as my collection gets bigger and bigger over time. I keep saying, show off, because even if I said, let's say today did a video, when I've got a few more masks, that video is now obsolete, because obviously I've got more masks and I'm not going to go and do the video again, just because i got several new masks. So hopefully this is understood why I don't do an entire mask collection video.